Well, g'day guys. Welcome back to another adventure. I'm here in a, a very uh, special place. I've always wanted to shoot <clears throat> for a very long time now. Uh, here in the Northern Territory, about an hour south of Tennant Creek, a Kula Kula, or uh, the Devil's Marbles. Um, like I said, I've always wanted to shoot here. Such a spectacular location. Uh, especially uh, at sunset and sunrise. Probably the only real times you want to shoot here. Um, just a gorgeous location for landscape photography on sunset and sunrise. The colors in the landscape change from deep reds to deep purples as the sun's sinking down. <clears throat> and I'm actually quite lucky today. I've got cloud. Got some high cloud uh, above the marbles uh, behind the vlogging camera and over the side. So I'm gonna uh, scout my locations. Uh, there's so many different um, compositions to be had here. But yeah, just a side note, uh, just over the other side I started filming and then I realised uh, it was sacred and you weren't allowed to film there, so I stopped filming and I've come over this side of the marbles. We were allowed to take photos and film. Absolutely no uh, filming or taking any images over near the campsite of the marbles. So I just wanted to say that. So before we uh, go out and uh, look for some composition, I'll just tell you a, bit, a little bit about the indigenous history here and pay my respects. Uh, so this is Aliwara country, um, and it's also a meeting place for five different languages uh, throughout the, uh, the area around here. And they'd, they would come here, it's mainly, I think it's sacred for elders only. I'm not sure children <clears throat> used to come in here, but the elders used to come in here and do ceremony, dances, uh, and what have you uh, in this uh, location and in these marbles. It's also uh, another Dreamtime, very sacred Dreamtime stories uh, about this place. Uh, these, these marbles were believed to be formed by a, a devil who walked across country here and he was making um, hair belts <clears throat> for the man with long hair. And as he's walking along making them, he's dropping bits off and then it's making these marbles in the uh, landscape here. So um, that's a Dreamtime story. That's, believe, that's how they believe these marbles or these uh, granite big stones came about, which is a uh, really interesting, uh, really cool and fascinating Dreamtime story. So when you get here, you can park over the other side uh, behind these boulders here, there's a campsite and there's uh, some plaques with uh, a lot of history about this place. Uh, and some other Dreamtime stories, one of them was a little bit uh, dark. Uh, a young indigenous girl came here with her family or auntie, I think, camping, and she wandered away. And they believe in these cracks and crevices of, of the marbles are these sort of shapeshifter little people who come out and entice you uh, into the cracks and crevices of these boulders and you'll never be found again. So yeah, I guess it's kind of a, a warning maybe in their dream time for children not to come and play around these areas because uh, you'll get lost and uh, it's sacred and you shouldn't be playing on the boulders, I guess. Yeah, so the geography actually of the place uh, is millions and millions of years old. It's granite boulders. And what's happened over time is um, basically soil and water, well, water's just eroded all the soil away from around the boulders uh, and revealing these amazing um, round, huge marble boulders. So that's how it formed probably about 20, 21 million years ago. And uh, yeah, been here ever since. So that's enough history. Um, sun is about an hour off setting, so I'm gonna make my way over here and uh, see what kind of images we can grab in the nice light. This place, like I said, would be perfect for sunrise and sunset. I'm just coming down for a recce today. Uh, in the near future, I'm gonna camp here and that way I can get up and do a sunrise as well. Like I said, it's an hour from home. So if I camp here, nice campsite, just uh, back over here, I can camp, get up and uh, do a sunrise. But for now, I'm gonna recce, walk along the road here and um, see what kind of images I can get. Let's go. So at the moment it's nice afternoon light. I'm just walking around. Uh, it's very hot, so I don't want to go too far uh, away from the vehicle and drink that much water, rookie era. But yeah, at the moment, uh, just before sunset, I'm just finding some nice light on some patches of rocks or some trees, uh, just firing off some images. 
uh, see what I can get before the final show. I think I'm gonna walk down there for my last composition uh, as the sun sinks. Hopefully get some cloud and back here. Or might just stay around in here because um, there's a lot of cloud, high cloud back in here and hopefully it all turns pink. But yeah, very dry, very hot. Um, probably can tell it in my voice. Uh, so yeah, probably just hang around here. Uh, I'm gonna put this down to more of a, as I've never been here before, more of a recce, um, recce shoot. See what, see what uh, I can get next time I come uh, when I camp here. And then I can sort of lock in some uh, compositions for next time. Uh, really nice ghost gum trees down there, but like I said, it's probably a 10 minute walk that way. Cars behind you. Um, yeah, I might just hang around here. I'm gonna fire off some shots in this night, nice light. If I uh, get anything, I'll uh, chuck them up. And then it's about, I'd say 15 minutes till the sun sinks behind the horizon here. And all these rocks will turn a deep dark red and almost purple. Hopefully the sky lights up and I'll get a money shot. Until then, I'll just hang in, walk around these uh, boulders here. Put some images up now if I get any good ones. Well, after much uh, walking around, a place like this harder than what you imag can imagine. There's so many different compositions and you're, oh, that'll make a great shot. Or you look over there, that'll make an amazing shot. And then you waste uh, the crucial part of actually finding a composition, composition just the sun sinking. And then you're running around chasing your tail. So I think I'm going to uh, invest in this composition here. I've got the cracked rock. Uh, sort of just off left center here and then these other boulders with some nice light and then there's some cloud behind it there which I'm hoping uh, will uh, give some color as the sun sinks so I'm going to take probably two uh, images here two composites one as the sun's nicely lighting the boulders <coughs> excuse me and then once the sun sinks a lot more these clouds might light up and I'll take an image for that and then blend them uh, in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop yeah, these flies are giving me the, I forgot my, my fly mesh hat. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but um, absolutely gorgeous, stunning country. Um, everywhere I look, my mind's going 100 miles an hour. There's a cluster of rocks over there I gotta shoot. Gotta shoot these ones, these tree over here, but it's only an hour from home, this location. I can come back here many times and uh, get, uh, different uh, compositions but for now I'm definitely gonna bank on this one and then might get one more over here but let's just sit and wait for that sun to sink a bit more Okay, so the light's died now off the rocks. It's uh, sunk behind the horizon there. Now I'm just gonna wait for these clouds to catch. Uh, so I left, kept my uh, tripod uh, where it was and then I rotated my camera around uh, 360. So I was taking images from behind me here and a couple to the side. So um, the image, the image <coughs> that I took behind isn't too bad, to be honest with you. And it's also got cloud, uh, behind it too which might catch so i've got a uh, two images hopefully i come away with from here these clouds definitely look like they might get a bit of color in them so yeah might work this one and if not the one behind me might, might be my backup image
and the sky is going off in all sorts of directions. Nothing too spectacular, but it's beautiful back in here. So I did my shot here, like I originally said, a bit a little bit puffed. Then I ran over here and over some other boulders uh, without vlogging quickly to get some images. As there's some nice light and clouds in behind there, some real nice pastel colors. <clears throat> hey, so that's it from this vlog. Uh, like I said, it's a recce. This is an hour from where I live. Um, so I'll definitely be back here for a camp, do a, do a night and a morning. Look at the sky. I'm not sure if this is picking up, but it's, it's just got these really nice soft pastel colors complementing the rocks and the grass is all pastels. Just stunning. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna wrap it up now. I need to get home, I get a drink, get out of these flies. It's, the sun's gone and the flies are still, still harassing me. But um, yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. Um, if you like this content, like what you're seeing, uh, leave a comment, smash like, and uh, please consider subscribing. Until I see you on the next adventure here in the outback of Australia. Have a good week, guys. See you later.